friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a hard cataract since the red glow is good the cataract is not appearing very hard but actually it is a very hard cataract nuclear sclerosis is about in grade 5 in this case let us observe this surgery by this time the main incision has been made on the posterior aspect of the limbus and one side port has been made on the left side of the main incision about two and a half clock hours away and now the anterior capsule is incised to the 26 case pain needle and a large capsular tag is raised now i hold this capsular tag with the iterator forceps lift the anterior leap of the main incision to prevent leakage of viscoelastic substance and then I do a CCC. Now hydro dissection is done with BSS with the help of a 27 gauge cannula. Little bit of fluid is injected at multiple points. The nucleus is mobilized and then the nucleus is rotated and some more visco is injected into the anterior chamber and then the handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber the machine being used is Faro's from Oatley the tip of the FACO handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber bottle height is 71 centimeter some superficial cortical lens matter is removed and then this is what I call a submarine chop the tip is buried totally into the substance of the nucleus goes through the nucleus towards the opposite equator and near the opposite equator it is chalked like this it is rotated 180 degree and the two heminuclei are separated completely each heminucleus is then subdivided into two pieces the tip goes into the lens matter holds it very firmly and divides it into two pieces now each nuclear fragment is tilted and it is emulsified with ultrasonic energy the emulsification is started from its apex apex means this tilt it and this is the apex the sharp pointed tip is the apex of these large nuclear fragments I make it blunt and start emulsifying from it and in no time it gets conquered here I rotate this pieces again see this is the apex each large nuclear fragment is sometimes emulsify uh, divided into two smaller pieces and then emulsification is carried out and this is the last nuclear fragment at this time I have decreased the vacuum so far the vacuum was 450 at this time it is only 150 FACO power used in this case is 80% and flow rate is 40 ml per minute this is the last bit of epinucleus it is emulsified cortex is very minimal in this case 
however it has to be removed in this case I'm going to use coaxial irrigation aspiration for removal of this cortex this is the coaxial handpiece here it is the removal of cortex is really fast with this device and it is done some amount of cortical matter is seen at around three o'clock I will try to remove it just by irrigation but it is not coming out so I ask for the aspiration probe and since there is no other side port I am going through the main incision at this time we must lift the anterior leaf we must not depress the posterior leaf to keep the AC formed and now 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose is injected into the anterior chamber and then a hydrophobic single piece intraocular lens this is Hoya from Japan Hoya on 50 it is injected and see what happens in this case the lens is rotating and it gets tumbled so I inject some visco take two instruments two Sinsky hooks and flip this upside down intraocular lens to place it in the bag properly and then uh, the viscoelastic substance is removed thoroughly from anterior chamber from the anterior chamber angle all around from anterior chamber angle and then I go behind the lens and remove the visco from the capsular bag and thus thorough cleaning of visco is done this is closure of the side port and then a final lavage of the anterior chamber is carried out with a 23G Simco and anterior chamber is formed nicely and the case is concluded thank you very very much for your attention Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.